Hey guys, KM here. Um, today's review is going to be about the Abyss Demon. He is really good hero in my opinion. His health points right now at level 83 is 51,974, which is pretty amazing. His attack is 3,299, which is also pretty good. He is a very powerful hero. In my humble opinion, I would recommend that you try your luck and roll for him with the gems you have. And who knows, you might get lucky. And if you do, then it's all worth it. Then if not, don't feel too bad because you might get something else. Um, He has right now, you know pre attack talent based attack based talents i recommend that you get either attack based talents on him or you know like a 5 of 5 charm curtain like two 5 of 5 charm curtains that would also be pretty good um he also has a 3 of 3 art of war which is pretty good who doesn't like three more mercenaries on the field than him um Check him out. Let's see how he looks. He, his troops are mercenaries, which is pretty cool. They look kind of cool too. Um, they did a good job with the aesthetics on the Abyss Demon. Um, let's see what else can we do with it. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and uh, do a dungeon run after I sacrifice this real quick sorry about that guys okay we're gonna do I don't know let's see let's see what we can do we're gonna go ahead and do dungeon 31 just cause you know why not okay Right now, at level 83, he has 28 mercenaries with him. He does pretty amazing damage, and his mercenaries help him out a lot. The only thing that's bad about him is, on the battlefield, is he cannot attack air units, as you can see here. But on the bright side, he has a cool little, uh, he has a cool talent or ability that every time he whacks something, he heals himself for a certain percentage and his teammates. So, on top of dealing so much damage and having a lot of health points, he has this pretty cool ability which helps out a lot on the battlefield. Not just for him, but for your team, your, your overall team. Um, let's see, we, we soloed the whole thing with him, which is pretty cool. Um, he is a really good person to have on your team. He compliments your team all around in pretty much every aspect of the game. Raids, uh, what, what else? Uh, Lord's League, um, dungeons, even the arena. He, he's a good, you know, he's really good because of his, uh, his stats, you know, I would, I would go as far as saying he's like the third best hero in the game, next to Chiron and uh, Pangoli. He has like amazing health points and attack, but the only thing I can see being an issue with this guy is his glory, you know. In order for him to level up past 120, he needs a glory, which that means sacrificing another Abyss Demon to this one. And overall, you have 12 glory slots. So in order for this Abyss Demon to reach his full potential, which is level 180, he would have to consume 12 other um, Abyss Demons, which is crazy. Why is it crazy? Because, you know, you have to spend a lot of money to get an abyss demon in the first place 
not everybody gets lucky like I did. I, I got him in the 450 roll. Um, some people do events, you know. I've seen a few events saying like uh, 30,000 gems and you get uh, a Biz Demon, which translates to about like $150, which is ridiculous for just a hero. Um, but if you do get lucky and get him, you know, just consider yourself really lucky and give yourself a pat on the back and use him. Keep him on your team. He's definitely worth it. Um, let's see. Um, he is, if you're not competitive and you don't plan to get him maxed out, get his glory maxed out, don't worry. Because, you know, if you have like one or two glories on him, I'm sure that'll be like... 130 he'll he'll get up to 130 which is pretty good nonetheless but um once again if you do want to get him and you are playing on the competitive side of you know of this game then you're gonna have to spend quite a bit of money to max glory him so keep that in mind you know but he is definitely worth it um one out of ten i would have to give him a nine why a 9? Because, you know, he has amazing stats. He has, a, um, like, overpowered health points and overpowered attack. And the bad things about him are, you know, he's hard to roll. He's hard to come by. And in order to get him and more of him, you'd have to spend quite a bit of money. And he can attack uh, air troops, which is, you know, a little disappointing. But, you know, oh well, he's still pretty good. So I would give him definitely a solid 9 out of 10. So please like and subscribe. Peace.